वेलकम अगेन फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ह्यूमन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम व्हिच इज द पार्ट ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ बायोलॉजी ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड यूनिट एट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग द वेरी वेरी बेसिक व्यू अबाउट द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम सो इज जस्ट फॉर द प्रिलिमिनरी पार्ट ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट अबाउट द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज हार्ट बिकॉज इट इज द कोर ऑफ एवरीथिंग इट्स द कोर ऑफ the movement is core of the transport system which is present in your body and the most important transport system of all which is blood transport system now heart uh, can pump blood throughout the body in in the upper region as well as in the lower region and uh, this pumping of blood is regulated by the organ heart now the heart can pump blood uh, in in two different uh, physical state one is called the systole and uh, the other one is called the diastole now in systole condition what happens actually heart have four, uh, two different region one is uh, one is the uh, one is uh, here we can see that it it is having two different part one is the arterial another one is the ventricle okay now arterial and ventricle are the part of the hearts now uh, what happens during the systole uh, the ventricular region uh, squeezed up and it, it they contracts and in diastole the ventricular region expands so in diastole the heart expands and the blood pump inside the heart and in, in systole the, the heart contracts so the heart muscles contract uh, as a result of the contraction so not contract contract now this contraction results in the pumping of blood outside the the heart now what happens there are several different types of uh, carrier uh, units for example here is a vein or artery now arteries are important because arteries carry pure blood when the systole happens the blood will leave through artery in this picture this blue color part is totally artery and blue color region is uh, the pure uh, uh, blood that means the blood with oxygen oxygenated blood and on the other hand this red colored blood are uh, are, are uh, carbon dioxide uh, added blood or they are also called impure blood now what happens during the diastole the blood will come to this uh, inside the inside the heart through this veins okay so arteries carry the pure blood oxygenated blood but vein carries the uh, carbon dioxide added blood or impure blood now this is the whole circulatory system if we look at uh, from the from the top to the bottom we can find the different places so this is the heart placed at the middle of the body in the chest not actually middle if we look at here but it uh, placed uh, here and from from this region you can see both uh, type of uh, units one is the, the afferent another one is the efferent both units are coming in and out and what happens here the arteries which are denoted with uh, blue color will carry the fresh blood and they carry the blood from the heart to let me take a color they carry the blood from the heart to different places in the body and on the other hand this red colored part which are veins will take up uh, impure blood from different regions of the body they take up the impure blood from from from, uh, from our uh, what we can say from our lungs and take them through the body and take them to the heart okay so this is a simple process so if we need to have any uh, movement or transport system we must have a start point must have an end point now the start point here you can see here is our heart for example end point is our body parts so from the heart it can go to the end point from the end point it return to the heart it returns to the heart okay now from the heart uh, the arteries take them to the end points and the veins take from the end point and bring it to the heart now this is how the whole process actually works now another very important basic concept here is that now cells are pretty pretty tiny and small but on the other hand in the picture what you can see as the, as the picture denotes here that these these veins and uh, and these arteries are really pretty much longer pretty much bigger in size so how could cell can take up nutrients or cell can give uh, the the the, the, the uh, extra materials to the blood stream the answer is Uh, another harmony we can notice in this case is that uh, from the heart when the uh, arteries and veins originated they are much more uh, their the diameter is much more uh, bigger and higher in this cases we call them the main arteries or main ventricles like uh, main arteries or main veins actually now what happens when these arteries and veins are going and going in different places the the diameter gets constricted and diameter gets smaller and smaller and then it finally 
ends up with something to form like this which is called the capillary now what happens when artery and ventricle will come together they come in close proximity and this artery blood and the ventricular blood will mix into a particular phase it is called vent uh, this is called the capillary region okay now this capillary region is very important because these capillaries are the most thin the th thinnest one among all because we are having the main arteries and then the mega arteries the smaller arteries then the smaller smaller arteries then finally it will produce arterioles which are much more uh, uh, thinner and then finally the thinnest one is the capillary now from the capillary cells are much more larger than the capillary uh, diameter of the capillary size now the cells can easily take up all those nutrients from the blood by the diffusion through the through the uh, um, wall of the capillaries and also they can give up some of the um, some of the um, what you can say uh, byproducts of cell to the capillaries by diffusing uh, this this membrane or, or, or the cell cell membrane of this capillary okay so that that's how this capillary formation is important now inside the tissue layer we can find lot of capillary form now the capillary form between the junction now what happens and how the blood actually uh, travels like that so from the heart arteries take the blood this is the pure blood oxygenated blood or the pure blood then to arterioles then to finally capillaries now capillaries get it after the capillary take this uh, inside the capillary from then on it, it can transfer to the venules then from the venules to the veins and from the veins to finally it will move to the heart now this blood will contain carbon dioxide or any other byproduct of the cell so inside the capillary what happens capillary can take and give different thing capillary can give uh, uh, the oxygen and, and other important nutrients that are being present in the blood on the other hand it will it will take it will take up the bad materials or uh, say the byproduct of the cell or sometimes the debris uh, different different uh, non unwanted products as well as carbon dioxide they will take up all this okay so this is the process of how uh, the whole thing is shuffled in. okay now blood vessels are of three different types one is arteries then veins then capillaries now arteries are elastic and they are muscular uh, they are also uh, muscular in their walls they keep blood under the pressure and nerve signals can make arteries constrict or dilate this is also another part so if they are elastic they can constrict they can dilate the mus muscular wall so their wall is very very tough pretty tough now they keep the blood under pressure in very tight pressure now sometimes when the artery can cut if the artery get get cut it is a huge loss because because the arteries are important and arteries are carrying the good blood for us so veins and in on the other hand are thinner much more thinner they are, they does not have they do not have the muscular walls they have less elasticity and less muscle than uh, compared to the arteries and they are having low blood pressure than the arteries now valves are also present and gravity and flow block there to the heart so valves can be found in case of veins because veins start with v valves start with v so that's how you can memorize this veins having valves and but they are having thinner and less elastic less muscular uh, layer on the other hand arteries are not having any valves but they are elastic muscular ones okay now on the other hand both of the cases capillaries are having one cell thick very very small this is a simple one single cell thick so you can imagine how much thinner it, uh, this is and when uh, where transfer of gases and nutrients takes place i have talked about this before now let us talk about the component which is, which act as uh, the machine which act as the vehicle for transferring all these ingredients uh, gas and nutrient now two different types of things are generally transferred gas uh, like oxygen and carbon dioxide mainly and on the other hand nutrient sources like carbohydrates uh, fats as well as uh, lipids now in blood blood can be made up of two different part one is plasma which is the most of the part of blood and second one is a particulate part which are the cells now inside the cell uh, and 90% of the player cell is made up with water so most of the part is made up with water remember this so don't forget this concept now plasma is made uh, like 55% plasma of the whole blood and 45% of the cells in the whole blood now plasma actually are water with dissolved substances like proteins sugars amino acids salts and hormones they will punch with each other in, in, and they'll dissolve into water then form the plasma and 
variations in concentration can be at uh, depending upon the metabolic imbalances and kidney problems we can have different plasma levels so if we check plasma we can find different metabolic disorders or any kid kidney problems like that on the other hand uh, the cells are divided into two different types one uh, one of the granulate cells and one of the agranulocytes uh, both of the cells are uh, are present in the blood now erythrocytes are called the red blood cells which are the which are the most common one and most abundant one inside the blood cells and uh, they uh, due, due to the presence of this red blood cell the color of the blood is red because it is containing hemoglobin as a carrier molecule uh, hemoglobin as uh, the the carrier protein of oxygen now when it binds to oxygen and when the, when the hemoglobin present due to the presence of heme in the porphyrin ring inside the hemoglobin the hemoglobin um, color becomes red okay now other hand leukocytes are there which are red blood uh, sorry white blood cells these white blood cells having different functions on the other hand you can say the eukaryo uh, this erythrocyte cells or the red blood cells having the function of gas carrying uh, part or oxygen and carbon dioxide carrying capacity on the other hand the leukocytes are having the function of fight infection and uh, simple the fight infection in many cases like leukocytes are having different types of leukocytes like eosinophil neutrophil basophil depending upon the granules that are present depending upon the color they take to when we when you stain them and all okay now on the other hand platelets are also there platelets are responsible for the clot formation or the coagulation of the blood which is also a very very important part Due to, except for this blood coagulation we cannot leave because we have several cut in different positions so we need to block the blood when it is running so much because this is a loss of uh, body's effort right so these are the ingredients of the blood and this is the blood which can carry oxygen and they can take the oxygen to uh, the heart and produce uh, and then then they can take the carbon dioxide from from the uh, from from what you can say lungs and bring it back to the uh, to the heart and heart from the heart they pump the pure uh, pure blood from again taking the oxygen from the uh, from the lungs and finally give it to the whole body so this is how the system works actually and this is all and i hope this will help you thank you